hey hi everyone uh, welcome to pcf uh, this is srinivas pujari so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, what is data gateway okay what is data gateway so where will you use it okay so the topic is what is data gateway and then types of uh, data gateway and then difference between the uh, both of them and then so how to install the data gateway so will you know so in this video i'm going to install the standard gateway okay okay how to install the standard gateway i'm going to explain so now so what is gateway so like so all you know about the you no know, architecture like so how the data is so power bi taking the data from different different sources okay so different different sources and then uh, it will take into the power bi desktop power bi desktop is a developer tool so it will take the data into power bi desktop then it will publish into power bi service okay so here we have a two types of sources like one is on premises sources and another one is online sources why the gateway in coming to the picture means so we have a two types of sources one is on premises sources and the another one is uh, cloud sources like uh, whatever the cloud sources is there azure and other and https okay so those are comes under you know um, https okay so let's go with the black okay so let me you know uh, right here okay which are having you know https or azure some other sources we uh, web sources will comes under online sources okay so these are the online sources and then uh, files um, sql server okay sql server these are comes under offline sources offline sources or on prem sources okay we will call it as a on prem sources okay on premises sources okay so for online sources like so both are azure like uh, so whatever the azure is there even power bi service is azure okay so both will be sync like how you know uh, the lake water so if the lake water is going and then if you want the lake water into farming then just you have to cut down the um, the barrier so just uh, it will you know the water will flow into the fields but uh, if uh, a bore well is there from bore well if you want a water in the field so you need a one motor okay so that is a gateway so offline sources is something like that a bore well so from bore uh, from bores okay you want water into the fields then you will go with the gateway only for offline sources or on premises sources you require a gateway but online sources you don't require any gateway okay try to understand so whatever the on online sources are there we don't require any gateway just only whenever we have a offline sources we require a gateway gateway is nothing but a bridge between offline sources and then power bi service gateway gateway is gateway is nothing but bridge okay bridge between offline sources or on premises sources okay offline sources and then power bi service okay this is the definition of gateway gates okay power bi service so whatever the latest data is there in the files or databases so if you want the data it should be updated in the power bi service so you need to have a gateway okay that is a gateway okay so hope you understand what is a gateway now types of gateways okay we have two types of gateways uh, on premises gateway and then personal gateway so to know the difference okay to know the difference so here is the differences guys okay choose the uh, types of gateways you need okay so on premises while installing you will get this step one okay while installing you will get this step okay on premises gateway so this is the recommended why because can be shared and used by multiple users okay you can share with across teams and then you can um, okay so but personal gateway you cannot with any you cannot share with anyone okay this is your personal purpose and also can be used by other applications like power bi power apps logic apps or microsoft flow and support uh, refreshes in the live queries for power bi also okay so here if you go with the personal mode so only can be used for power bi uh, only uh, refresh is supported okay not live refresh and kind of things okay so in this video we are going to you know go with the uh, standard gateway on premises gateway okay so we are going to install the 
so hope you understand the differences okay so this is the recommend okay so if you want more details okay more details about the you know what is the uh, gateway so so what is the future send us see um, cloud service supported so here it is the personal gateway no but what are the cloud services supports okay power bi power apps azure logics and then automate so these are the things we have the uh, run and the run uh, configuration by users who has um, no access to the gateway okay and uh, as you um, as you for your window authentication as a configuration so you can do in your computer guys okay so but uh, here can install only uh, as a computer admin ante no computer admin uh, so ikkada mere computer admin ayi unte saripothadi ikkada computer admin ayi unte kaadu okay so uh, centralized okay centralized data gateway and uh, uh, data sources management okay so if the centralized for centralized data sources we'll go with that it's not okay and then import data and refresh the data yes okay for import uh, we have a three types of connection modes again so i have created separate video for that so when you have a imported data so uh, we can do the refreshes from personal and uh, um standard okay on premises and even uh, direct query only supports the uh, uh, on premises gateway not uh, personal gateway and then live connection supports also analysis also will support this one is not support okay these are the features now we'll see how to install the gateway okay so how to install the gateway just go here and then power bi service that uh, login to app.powerbi.com okay login to app.powerbi.com and then so in right side corner top of that there is a three dots okay you can go to three dots there is a download option you can go to the download and then data gateway just click on the data gateway so it will open one uh, site okay so here i am so i am not going with the so there are two types of uh, um, uh, gateways right so two types of gateways uh, one is standard gateway standard mode and then personal mode okay in this video i am going to explain about the uh standard mode click on standard mode okay it will download the gateway for you okay so the download is started it will take uh you no know, um so based on your internet speed it will take the time like so how much time it will take and all so based on your internet speed okay so it's almost you know going fast my internet speed, speed is uh fast that is the reason it's going fast okay so 30 seconds more uh, is required so once it's done let uh, so we can uh open the gateway and then we can uh, you know uh, install it okay so let me you know um it's going okay so let's wait for the okay so yeah it's done okay so let me go to the downloads okay you uh, you have to go with the uh, downloads okay just go to downloads so so this is the uh, gateway looks like okay this is the gateway so if you download the personal gateway the personal gateway looks like this case okay uh, both uh, personal gateway looks like this and then um, standard gateway looks like this okay so now let's click on this um, uh, run the gateway file now okay just uh, i'm just double click the uh, so i have clicked uh, double clicked on that um, gateway install so standard mode uh, it will open like this, okay, where you want to, you know, C driver, D drive. So if you want to change some other location, you can go, but uh, for now, I'm going with the default location and then uh, accept that and then install, click on install. So it will asking, okay, yes, you can click on yes. So, yeah, so yeah, click on yes. Okay, it will start, you know, uh, installing the uh, gateway. So see, so if, again, this is again, you are based on your, uh, you know, internet speed base, okay, so it's going very fast. Okay, so let me take the, so it will ask the you know, user uh, like uh, the credentials. So whatever the uh, username you have in the Power BI service. So again, uh, how to create this account at all. Uh, so I've explained very clearly guys. Okay, I've explained very clearly. Mm. So let me go here. So let me, you know, go. And service. So this is my you know, email, uh, so school account, okay? You cannot connect with the, you know, your personal account, okay? So okay, you cannot connect with your personal account. You have to have a school account. So how to create the uh, free account for the Power BI service also, I have created that uh, uh, separate video. You can watch that video, okay? So I'm go so it will ask the credentials. So I will give the my username. So it's almost done, guys, okay? So we wait for, you uh, know, 
a uh, couple of seconds again this is based on your you know internet speed only okay so let me just wait for minutes guys yes okay so installation is done and then it is asking about the email address okay so that is your school account okay which i have copied so i am just pasting here uh, and then uh, click in sign in okay click sign in so it's asking the you know sign in just i have to provide the uh, you know password okay uh, click sign in and then uh, have to provide the password so just uh, you when you create uh, so you will also get the username and then password so it will ask the authentication so just i'm giving my authentication so yeah it's done okay so i have given my authentication it's approving yeah so see here is the differences okay so just uh, register a new gateway or migrating and register and go so i'm creating a new uh, one right so this i'm going with the next okay so here uh, again uh, so the gateway name which which gateway name okay you want to give the gateway name power bi demo okay so power bi demo i want to give the gateway name and then so you can give your you know uh, so to recover your gateway again so you can provide the uh, uh, recovery key so better i am going with my phone number so that uh, i can remember so even uh, that is a um, total based on you guys okay okay the same uh, key uh, so confirmation i need to provide Sorry. okay so let's go with the number and uh, so configure it that's it okay so almost done so the gateway installation okay to create a data flow we should have on premises gateway guys okay so yesterday we introduced about the data flows okay what is the data flow uh, so what we required and everything i have explained very clearly so to create a gateway we required a um, on premises gateway so that is the reason i have uh, you know uh, create uh, i have installed the gateway okay so this is about the gateway okay once you have a gateway so once you have a gateway you can uh, you know um, set up a uh, gateway case okay you can set up a gateway so you can go to the manage gateway so there you can see you know, whatever the gateway you have and all so see, see power bi demo gateway cluster is there so this way we can so tomorrow what we'll do uh, tomorrow we'll do like uh, so we'll add some you know uh, uh, files and then uh, we'll create a data flow and then we'll uh, schedule the refresh okay so we have a gateway now okay we have a gateway now so tomorrow we see uh, how to set up a uh, refresh and a gateway okay thank you hope you understand the installation what is the gateway and then types of gateways okay please uh, now hit the uh, like button to encourage me and then also if you watch the first time please subscribe my channel guys okay for more videos okay i'm creating daily some videos okay daily one video so you can you know get more videos this kind of things for that please subscribe my channel okay thank you so much guys